Hello friends, how are you doing today? Hope you have a very good weekend. And in this video I'm going to give you an update about this project manager project. Okay, so I, I, I released a short video, a, a short preview about this project. So basically uh, this is a project uh, I'm trying to design, I'm trying to design this for a small team. Okay. So just a few team members in your team and you try to manage your project uh, with an application like this and uh, use uh, Google Spreadsheet as a database to manage all of the data. All right. So here uh, it's not completed yet, I have to say. So as you can see here, I have some uh, functions here is not uh, ready. So I only complete the users. So basically, to manage your users, you can create new users and uh, update your user status or user roles. Okay, and uh, here you also have some clients here, uh, basically uh, to manage your clients. And uh, here have some contracts. Okay, uh, let me show you first uh, for the uh, users. Okay. As you can see here in this spreadsheet, I store all the user information here, including the password. But here the password is hashed. Okay, so you cannot use this part of password to log in, of course. And let me log out first because this right now I'm logging as the admin user, as you can see. So let me try to log out. Alright, so I'm right now signed out and uh, Maybe let's pick a staff user to log in. So let's try Mia. Let's copy this email address and try a password. So try wrong password here. Okay, error message. So let's try another one. Okay. So as you can see, uh, because I'm currently currently working on the admin user, so for the staff user, as you can see here, uh, all the other pages or the sections are not available for these staff users. Okay, so just want to show you, you can manage the different sections of, of this application and show different data to the users. Basically according to the different role of the user okay so let's sign out and uh, log in with my admin user so mm, password okay so now I'm in and uh, I should be able to see all of this stuff so uh, let me show you, you can create a user here and uh, let me check the database. Right now we have six users here. So let's try to add a new users. Let's try to say what users we can create. Uh, let's create a test uh, tester. Test uh, stuff inactive you can make it admin so great okay so as you can see here the test user have been added here so if you check the database here this is a test user all right so let's check if we can use the test user to to log in okay so sign out the test user and password all right so I'm logging as a test user as you can see here since this test user is an admin user so we have access to all of these pages and uh, you can here you can manage your client. You can create your client, create a new client, 
and uh, you can edit the client here and uh, you can even delete the client and uh, I think the last thing I'd like to share to show you is you can uh, add a contract so basically in this contract we have some relational uh, data so basically for this client we all have some uh, I'm sorry not as a client uh, for this contract you need to choose a client for this contract as you can see here so this client is from another table if you check on my database here uh, I have a contract table here and uh, I have a con uh, I have a, cl a, a table for the client uh, so basically I need to uh, build a relationship between the contract as a client and similarly for each uh, for, for each contract I will have some manager for this uh, contract okay so you also have some members maybe you need to build a team members for this, this contract or for this project okay so you can choose uh, which team members should be selected uh, for this contract so let's try to test uh, this is the demo mm. okay let's say contract member 004 order maybe you have order number for this order number 004 and the contract name this is a demo contract so for the client let's say Amazon so department Let's say this is a web department status. Let's say open. So let's try to create this contract. Okay, so now I see uh, this contract has been added here. So this is a manager status is open, and I have two team members uh, for this contract or for this project. Okay. So if I check the database, this is a new project I just added to this uh, database. So this is the ID of the client. Okay, so basically this, this is the, the key. Uh, this is the key to the, just a link. Uh, so we can find the client from this table, for this client table. So if you check the ID 7, it should be Amazon. And uh, if you check the manager and the member, so it's two and six. If you check the users, which two is Mia and six is, is me, okay. So basically, uh, there's something, something like this. So this could be very complicated if, you, if we try to manage something like this in this uh, in a spreadsheet like this. Uh, so that's why we are trying to build an application to manage things like this. Uh, I think if you are trying to manage all of this stuff in a spreadsheet, in a lot of complicated, uh, duplicated stuff uh, will be recorded in the spreadsheet. So maybe that's, that's why we like to use an application like this to manage all of this stuff. Okay, so just a very quick demo for you guys. Okay, so. I will uh, build more functionalities like the, well, maybe some invoices or some cost, okay, and uh, maybe some staff cost, something like this, all right? You also can see, so basically this is a very basic CRUD, so it's a CRUD application, so we can do things like this with a Google App Script. Mm, it's not easy. I have to say, but uh, uh, as you can see here, we can actually do it. Not perfect, but uh, I think uh, it's doable and uh, it could be very useful for small team because uh, I think all of this stuff are free because the Google Sheet is free and the script, uh, we don't need to spend uh, any money on them, okay? so. If you think this uh, is something you're looking for, and uh, I will try to finish this project, okay? Because, uh, okay, 
So I will see you next time. So I hope you have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.